Swartz stands over this one, a good distributor. The left footed in swinger, out swinger. And, and Toronto now will throw it. Trying to get something going in the early going here. As it is 82 degrees and it will dip into the 70s by the time this game is finished. And they'll build from the back. Simeon down the line, intercepted, out of play. And a throw in coming up on that back line. And just one less attacking player for Toronto. Toronto has had the ball more, but Orlando City does give it up. Peruzzo was the man who stepped in front of it. Coming into this match, OCB leading League One with 57 shots outside the a win was against Tormenta. They went deep into the game before Tormenta got the equalizer basically at the death on a con Seamus. Seamus with some running room. One touch passing, trying to get it through the defenders. Can't get it to DeBlante. Now done. But Leo Seamus had to come over and clear it out, but Jaden Nelson, they are so high on him in Toronto. Very, very towards. And only one of those substitutions was a defensive move to bring in the very versatile Steven Hernandez. Schwartz, Nelson. Nelson looked like he wanted to take a shot. TFC two to start. It's Paulo Junior, the Brazilian. He's played around the lower leagues in U.S. soccer, formerly at Fort Lauderdale Strikers, Indy 11, Ottawa Fury. Came over from Penn FC last year. Jacob Schaffelberg, number 84, trying to move down the right against Carter Manley, another one of those Minnesota United loanees. Duke alum from Elkridge, Maryland. He played eight times for Minnesota United as Free kick one here off of Nunez, and TFC2 will take it quickly. For Michael Rabaska, this is, it hasn't been as prodigious as it probably could be, but now with Ali Curtis as the new general manager of Toronto FC, there is a lot to be excited about for some of these young players. Here's some space. Noble Okello, midfielder, signed to the first team, is playing a majority of his minutes with TFC2, number 59. He's on the ball here. I might come. And they also have hopes to be part, perhaps, of the World Cup that will be coming all of North America only seven years from now. I can't believe it's that soon already. 2026 seems like it's so far away, but it isn't. And for a lot of these players, the good young players that Toronto is here producing, now it's a matter of can they transition them from great academy players, great youth internationals, and a lot of them have played for Canada's U17, U20 teams. Can they become now full TFC players? Here's Okello, one of those that has signed a first team contract with Toronto FC. Swartz, left footed cross towards the penalty spot. And there's gonna be a push in the middle. This team wants to be a possession based team, build up and move forward as we've seen a little bit as Smart's dispossessed by Swartz. Peruz is in one on one. But Paulo Jr. definitely tries to use his leverage there and our referee Kalen Radosov who didn't whistle for many fouls at all wasn't having much of it. Campbell almost found Peruza, and Leonard has to get rid. Smart trying to hold the ball up, and he's dispossessed. Schaffelberg has kept this in. Toronto FC2 is trying to do. How many of these players have designs of one day getting a senior cap for Canada? How many of them have designs on being an integral part of Toronto? A rock on that back line for Tucson. FC2 more comfortable as the game wears along. Trevor Swartz. Good crowd on hand. The American Outlaws, the supporter group for FC Tucson. Glad to have the team home after a loss at Tormenta last week. Largely by Toronto FC2. Now then. 
What does Zach Wright have? And well defended by Trevor Swartz. Bjornsson now playing it back. And into the middle for Hamlin. Hamlin was looking for Cox. Trying to create something for Toronto FC2. Into the middle, play back. Endo, out wide to Dorsey. Chip, near post, and into the back of the net. It's Jordan Hamilton.